Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. In the last episode we started our way through Sprout Tower and today we're going to finish off our way in Sprout Tower and then battling the Violet Gym. So I've actually had some training, everyone is now level 13 as well as Omnia, the Eevee we hatched last episode. I haven't chosen, I've chosen not to put the Chimchar in because we've already got our Charmander here so I think you know there's no point really having two of them, it's not going to be much help especially with the Flying Gym coming up so... And someone pointed out in the comments, if I'm going to evolve Eevee into a Jolteon, which I think I will, um, because we just lost our electric type last last um, last episode, I will. Yeah, I can't level up over level 13 because it learns Thundershock at level 13. And the good thing is the guy here gives you um, the the Thunderstone for, or you can choose one of the stones for the Eevee, which is very helpful, or any stone at all for Eevee uh, to evolve it. So I get. I guess we'll do that. I guess we'll. Um, get the Thunderstone in a second. So, uh, as I said, trained up to level 13 because I think, well, that's what Frostbite, Frostbite's level was in Inferno. So I thought, okay, I'll level everyone else up to that point just to hopefully make us not lose any Pokemon this episode. So yeah, I've also given, um, actually I haven't given anyone anything, have I? No, I'm just, just thinking, don't worry. Okay, so let's pop in and this stuff will happen. I don't really care about this. And oh yeah, our rival YouTube here. YouTube is an escape rope, indeed. Okay, I guess we'll go and pick up this item here, which I think is an escape rope. Let's run away from this. I think it's an escape rope. Yes, indeed it is. Just means we can get out of here fairly easily in a second. And let's go and battle this dude here. Hello, dude. Yes, we don't really care about this. We just want to battle you. Oh, I start off with Inferno here because I think it's going to be... A decent po I don't know exactly what Pokemon he has, so he has four Pokemon, so it's going to be a very tough battle, I think. Bellsprout is starting off, which is good. Uh, level 12, you see, so it's a good thing I didn't actually level up, because some of the other ones are only level 11 or level 12, so... Hopefully, this Bellsprout goes down fairly easily. So, one more turn should then take it out. Razor Leaf, see? These, these are, this is early in the game, these hard, these tough moves are coming in. You know, it's not an easy game, this. Wow! Critical hit as well. Okay, let's finish it off another Ember, and that's Bowsprout gone. Hopefully he has, like, other Pokemon I can easily take out. Hopefully nothing too hard, like a Sableye, for example. I don't know, just picking that name out of the air. So as long as we don't use Eevee this battle, we can still evolve it into a Jolteon it or learn Thundershock. So, um, what was that? It was Chingling, wasn't it? Psychic type. So I guess we can get a Frostbite and we can use Bites there. So, yeah, that's always good. Hopefully we don't lose Frostbite, um, as I think I said last episode, because it is a really good Pokemon. Yeah, it's, it's, well... It should be good, at least. Especially in this point in the game. Let's use a bite here. And hopefully this goes down fairly easily again. We haven't got... we Yeah, we got higher special attack than physical attack. But obviously, bite is super effective and icy wind is not. And the Chingling flinched, so that's an easy uh, easy co there. Okay, so what's going to happen next? Is it a... Is he, well, in the, I know, yeah, he's got Hutu, like in the normal game. So I guess we'll stay in for this. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to take out with Frostbite. This is level 14, you see, so he's a stronger Pokemon than the rest of my team. So, very interesting hit. Hopefully, we can take it out fairly easily. Two hit coat, at least, I'm hoping for. Yep, two hit coat will be. And it speed fell. Cool. It's going for hypnosis, which we missed. Yes, missed. Yes. Woo. Otherwise, I don't know what I've done with that hypnosis. <laughs> that would have been really annoying if it hit with hypnosis. So many hypnosis um, spams. There was this one, and then there was one of the trainers last episode had hypnosis. Which is really annoying, so... Good thing we're faster, really. And a Cherubi as well, so who can we stand up for this? I guess we can stand up Aura, because I want to use Aura a bit. Haven't used it on screen yet, or haven't used it on screen much, at least. Uh, it looked Force Palm last episode, and we never used it on camera, so... I guess we use it now. Force Palm! Which should do some decent damage. Indeed, critical hit, yeah! Thank you to the scope lens, I think it is. I think it's holding the scope lens, I'm not sure. It's probably doing it. Scope lens is what it's holding. Player defeated Elder Lee. Awesome. So it wasn't too hard a battle, but obviously if we hadn't trained up, it would have been much harder. Yes, okay. Let me offer you a reward. Uh, it will be Jolteon. We shall get the Thunderstone. Yay! So we can evolve Jolteon. Or we can evolve Eevee, rather. And TM containing Flash. We don't really care. Is this where you usually get it in the games? I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't know. Maybe it's just that I used to go into Dark Cave. Okay, so let's use the Thunderstone straight away, and evolve Eevee, let's do this. Uh, I don't know exactly what the person, you know, uh, sending me, send me the Eevee wanted me to evolve into, because it didn't hold an item, I don't think, or it might have been holding a nugget, but yeah, still not too much of a thing. Obviously, if they want to be evolved into a specific evolution, usually people give it the, uh, 
a stone, for example, obviously if they, if they wanted to make for me to do it into Jolteon, they would give me a Thunderstone. So, but obviously they didn't, so I can just you know do what I want with it. And as I said, it's gonna learn Thunderstruck now, which is good. <laughs> so it's actually got a stab move, and we can get rid of so there's detect, endure, tackle, and bites. I get guess we're rid of endure since it's not that helpful to be honest, endure. I mean, yeah, it's just like not using an attack for another turn. How's that generally gonna help you? Unless you're stalling and they're like they're poisoned or burned and they're like just a few half points off of dying. No. Okay, let's use the escape rope just to make it a bit easier. So at least we can sort of use Eevee in this uh in this gym battle now as well. So we've got Eevee and we've got uh Frostbite, or not the Eevee, Jolteon, and Frostbite who are gonna be good in this gym. Inferno should be, yeah, middle. Ultimate obviously will do some decent damage as well, but Aura is not gonna be very helpful at all, because it's weak to flying type moves. So Let's quickly head back to the Pokemon Center just to heal up to get that damage off of uh, Inferno and some PP for Frostbite. And then I guess we can start the Pokemon Gym Challenge. And I guess we'll start off with the Jolteon because Frostbite was just in a battle. So, dum 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 dum. So, yeah, I hope you're all having a nice day. Third episode of. No, not third episode. Second episode of the Egglock. No, second. What? Fourth episode of the Egglock. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's going well so far, we haven't lost too many Pokemon, just just one, that was Lightning, who wasn't going to be very helpful anyway, because it was a spiky a Peachy who wasn't going to evolve. So yeah, let's just pop into the gym now, and battle some trainers. Now I have no idea, now generally, um, the person who makes these hacks generally makes the gyms really hard, or the gym leaders really hard. Like for example, in the Volt White 2 hack, and Bla Blaze Black and Volt White 2, the Poison type gym leader, who is the second one, uses a Toxic and Venoshock strategy. Which is, you know, quite hard. Um, I can't remember if this gym uses a certain strategy or like has loads of stuff to counter. Like he might have loads of ground type moves or whatever, Gligar, something like that. I don't know if particularly he this guy has it, but it's a possibility. Okay, so Omnia is doing some decent damage. Yeah. Pidgey, yeah. They're just gonna, we're just gonna sweep these two trainers, or I hope, I hope we're gonna sweep the trainers at least. You know, um, I'm not sure. Could we could have we gone in? Could we have gone in the gym before Sprout Tower? I'm not sure if we could have or not. Is it, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We might have been able to, but yeah. There we are. More experience for me and Dodo. So I guess we'll just sweep through this person and the next person probably, because I'm guessing the next person just has like Starly, uh, yeah, Starly, Taylo, and someone else. So yeah, shouldn't be too hard for us. Okay. Let's go. Battle over. Are we going to level up? No, we're not. Okay. We'll battle with Jolteon first, and we'll probably switch out to Frostbite at some point, just to get some extra experience on that. And level up to level 14 for the gym leader battle. Ho ho! He's Santa Claus. Boom, boom, boom. Jesus Christ, you took a long time, dude. Just going to crack open this can so I can drink. It's Coca Cola Zero. Zero, Coca Cola Zero, and Coca Cola uh, Diet Coke are terrible. They don't taste of anything, or don't taste as good as normal Coke. Unfortunately, I had to buy it though, because there weren't any big packs of Coke, just a normal Coke, so. Yep, typical. <sighs> Not too bad. Anyway, right. So that's Omnia leveling up. Nice. Level 14. Nice special attacks that there, and speed as well, so that's always going to be helpful. A wing girl's coming up next, so I guess we have to stand for this, because I was going to switch to Frostbite and use Icy Wind, but wing girl is going to only take neutral damage from it rather than super effective damage or four times damage like this one, so I guess we'll take out wing girl with Jolteon and then we'll switch out to our lovely friend Frostbite, especially since there are four Pokemon to deal with this time. Okay, as long as we don't take any damage, uh, we shouldn't have to actually go back and heal up, because obviously all we're using is PP and we have enough PP anyway. Okay, so Frostbite should be able to take out Natu fairly easily. I mean, it's just a Natu. Even though Natu's the one that caused us to lose our, um, our Pichu last episode. That's just because I was speeding up, generally. I think, at least. Or did we miss an attack? I'm not sure. One of those. Anyway, so Natu's gone. We could have used Biters there as well, but I'm not sure if that would have taken it out. So Frostbite leveled up. Nice special attack stat there as well. Not as high as speed, though. So if we're looking to outspeed, Jolteon's the best bet there. Okay, so there's Zubat coming out, we're just going to demolish Zubat here. Goodbye Zubat, you have been a good friend to us, not really at all, but... <laughs> okay, right, and there he goes. 
awesome. So I didn't know who to start off with quite. Um, I think I'll start off with Jolteon because I get the speed advantage there. So I guess that's a good choice there. And then Frostbite is definitely the, the more powerful of the two. So that's good for the, the final one at least. Okay, yes we can. Okay, he won't allow such insults as the clipping of Pokemon's wings with electric bolts or whatever. So we're going to use... I think he's got six Pokemon. Yeah, they have six Pokemon every gym leader does, so definitely fun. <laughs> so the same as what we just taken out apart from one level higher. So we should... Oh, it's got Quick Attack. Okay, interesting. Oh, I think all the Pokemon in the hacks as well are high in EVs and IVs as well. I'm not sure what they're like in the usual games. They might just have like randomized EVs and IVs. I think that's probably the case. But in these ones, I think I have high IVs and EVs, but I can't be quite sure. So I think that's his strongest Pokemon, so I'm going to switch out to Frostbite here, so hopefully we don't have too much trouble with Pidgeotto. It's definitely got Roost, so he's going to be spamming that quite a lot. Oh, it's Pidgeotto, yep, yeah, definitely the strongest because of the Poker Seal thing. I can't use Spikes, so there's no point using Spikes because they're all flying type Pokemon, so they're not even going to do any damage. So, no Spikes this battle, at least. Hopefully we get at least half, yeah, pretty good damage there, and lowered its speed, good, good. And what's he going for? He's got a berry. Citrus berry, I'm assuming. Or Orin. Just an Orin, okay. Being nice to us here. Aerial Ace. Hopefully we resist that. Yeah, we do. And we should be able to take it out with another Icy Wind. Awesome. So that's Pidgeotto out of the way. At least we don't have to deal with that anymore. Hopefully it is out of the way at least. Yep. <laughs> and it's a critical hit as well. We could have got that last turn, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, so hopefully we might level up here. I'm not quite sure. Nope, not quite. Okay, Murkrow is coming out next, so I guess Omnia is the best choice here because it's a Murkrow. It's a dark type, so that's going to be super effective against Frostbite's ghost type. So we'll send Jolteon back out. Should be able to outspeed it and hopefully clip it with a Thundershock. I'm not sure though. Yeah, definitely outspeeding it. It should at least get a two hit kill here. Uh, maybe not a one hit. Nope. What's it going to use? Faint Attack. Okay, it shouldn't do too much damage here. We're the same level, so. Yep, okay, and we should be able to outspeed, so... Yep, I mean, don't think Mercury's got Quick Attack or anything, so... We're all good there. Okay, and Omnia should then level up to level 15. Which is pretty damn good. Yep, indeed it did. Indeed it did. So we've had level 12, a level 14, and a level 15. So I'm guessing we have a level 13 coming up at some point. And also a level... Probably another level 12 or 13. So a Swablu's coming out. Too bad Swablu's not a Dragon type, because then we get 4 times effectiveness off on it, but... At least Frostbite can get two times effectiveness off on the Swablu. Another level 14, okay, so then probably a level 13 as well. So we'll have to see what that Pokemon is, I'm not quite sure. We've basically gone through the majority of the flying types in all the generations here, so. <laughs> okay, lower its speed again, which is good. And what's it going to use? Solar Beam. Is it using Solar Beam? Yeah, it is using Solar Beam. Wow. So I guess that's the counter for Water type Pokemon. Not, yeah, Water type Pokemon, I guess, so. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Power Herb. So yeah, definitely a counter for water types there. Hopefully, we, yeah, we don't die. Because we're an ice type, we resist it pretty well. And there we are, there goes Swablu. So it's a good thing, really, we didn't start with Jolteon for that. Because I don't think Jolteon would have survived that. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure whether it would have or not. But yeah, my bet is not. So that's the counter for ground. Uh, what, what's strong again? Yeah, rock types. That's the ones. Rock types are strong against flying. Electric types are strong against flying. And that's it, I think. So, And a far-fetched. Okay, I guess we're going to... No, I think I'll send out Inferno here. Just to get some more... More people in on, the, in on the action rather than level, like, yeah. Okay, we have two Pokemon left, sorry. Um, so, uh, level 12, so fairly easy for Inferno to take out, hopefully. Just use an Ember or two. Aerial Ace, hopefully that won't do too much damage. Okay, 15 damage, so we might want to think about switching out, but... Okay, we did hardly any damage there, so I'm going to switch out to... There's no point switching out to Ultimate, because Ultimate has literally no sort of uh, moves it can use, because... It doesn't get stabbed from either of the water type moves, and Superpower is a very risky move to use, especially in Nuzlocke, so I think I'm going to use a Potion. Hopefully Inferno doesn't die, we've always got Chimchar to switch in if we need to. And I'm going to put it on... I think I'll put it on Frostbite rather than Omnia, because I think Frostbite's the tougher Pokemon in general. Hopefully we survive this Aerial Ace. Indeed we do, it does exactly the same amount of damage as last time. Generally they do, but sometimes they do sort of just do a bit more damage, which is why I'm always a bit cautious. Obviously, critical hits are always a, a possible... Oh, a poison jab. Nasty. We resist that. Have we didn't get poison? No. No, we don't. Okay, cool. Icy Wind. We're going to be faster, and that should just take out the Farfetch'd in one hit, because you know, it's only level 12 Farfetch'd, and it's already lost some health points. So, yeah. 
There you are, far-fetched, goodbye. I wonder what's le left. Is there any Pokemon left? Uh, it's flying type, or we just want or Starly or St Staravia probably. Uh, Chatot, okay, it's Chatot rather than Starly, but yeah, still Generation Four, and it's a level twelve again. Okay, so yeah, Wind is finally with you, and you're going to get sweeped, or oh, it's avoided the attack. It's going to use Agility, which is going to raise its speed. Okay, so it's not going to be faster than us, I'm guessing at least. I don't quite know what uh, its strategy is here. Maybe it's just using Agility to always go first. Chatter shouldn't do too much damage good thing. I mean, obviously, if, if it were a normal type move, it wouldn't have done any damage at all, but no, it's a flying type move, so... And that should be Chatot out of the way. Indeed, okay, so, that battle went fairly well. We didn't lose any Pokemon at all, which is good for a first gym battle. Only 15 gyms left to go, and the Elite Four. <laughs> there we are, level 16 for Frostbite as well. Awesome. So, a nice powerful Pokemon in Frostbite, we can always rely on there, but yeah, we just really need to focus on levelling up everyone else now. <laughs> Apart from uh, Omnia, you know, Omnia should be right for a bit. A defeat is a feat. A defeat is a defeat. And we have received the Zephyr Badge from Volkner. Yeah! We've received the Zephyr... Is the bleh. Can't speak! Zephyr Sonic Badge. <laughs> there we are, okay. Okay, so we, look, we can now use Rock Smash outside of battle, but we haven't got Rock Smash quite yet, I don't think so. I don't think we do. Do we have Rock Smash? I don't know. We have Roost there, which I don't think anyone can learn Roost, but we can always check it out. We have to remember in Generation 4, TM's are only a single use still, which is really sucky. Uh, as compared to Generation 5 and Generation 6. Uh, no one can learn Roost, so yeah. And it's not that helpful anyway. Generally, um, in the single player games, or the storyline, there's not much point for Roost or any other health point restoring move, unless it's like combined with like, Mega Drain, obviously. Um, because you can just use your potion, and it's the same thing. And obviously, potions are generally more effective. Because you can use a Hyper Potion, so... Yeah, we'll go and pick up the egg, I guess. Uh, this egg will just go in my computer and be discarded. Or do we do we even have to pick up the egg? I think we probably do because of um, the fact that it's storyline based. So yeah, we have to pick it up before we can go south to Azalea. So yeah, I'll pick up the egg and I'll just put it away in the computer because we've already obtained the Pokemon for uh, Azalea, and I'll say, yeah, Violet City because we, we got the starter in the Pokemon Center if you remember last episode. And we switched that out to get, I think it was Eevee. No, it wasn't Eevee, it was uh, Chimchar. So um, yeah, this egg will just go away in the PC. We'll just ignore the egg. We don't want the egg anyway. It's only a Togepi. And if it, if we did hatch it, we'd just switch it out anyway. So it'll be level 1 we have to switch it out for. So it's best I chose the starter. Or best I got the starter, rather. So let's go and pick the egg up quickly. Not like we'll want it, but yeah. Just to be for this. Yep, sure, we'll do it. You have to take it, because... Obviously, you get the uh, little event outside with the Kimono Girl. Okay. So he's gone. And we can then exit. And enter Komodo Girl, who we're just going to speed through because she's a bit boring. Yeah, she's just tracking the path of the egg, pretty much. Okay. Oh, what do you want, Faulkner? Registering me in the Pokegear? Yep. See, this is another point of the hack. You get a register for Faulkner in the Pokegear now rather than later. I don't know if you can rematch him straight away or what, but obviously I'm not going to try and rematch him because that will be pr mighty hard on a... Especially if his Pokemon level up, I'll just lose completely. Okay, so let's just chuck the egg away, because we don't want it. We shall put it in the space between boxes. Not exactly, but we'll put it in, like, box 14. Stay there, egg, we don't want you. And obviously, as I said, Chimchar's there, but we don't really want to use it at the moment, because I have Charmander, so... We can always use Chimchar if Charmander ever dies. So, we can catch two Pokémon now, or we can hopefully catch two Pokémon. In at some point in this episode, because we have okay, or is or is choice banded? I remember that not not the focus thing, but choice banded. Um, yes, that was the same. That's what I was saying. We can hopefully catch two more Pokemon here. Obviously, in Ruins of Elf, which I'll go and do now. I guess uh, we'll enter it from the top top area, and then we can also get the Pokemon on the next route. Probably in this episode, we can probably get those two hatched. So, what do you want, bro? Okay. Yeah, we're talking about Sudowoodoo who is. Obviously giving a hint about Sudowoodoo, and Sudowoodoo's over here. Just making sure... Yeah, I think, yep, there's Rock Smash right there. Thank you. I don't think we're going to teach it to anyone, though, because I don't think... It's too useful. There's not, nothing too much we need to use it for, so... There's Sudowoodoo, obviously. Having a dance. And I don't think this girl does anything. She says about Sudowoodoo, yep. 
Oh, it was preventing me from shopping. Such a disappointment. I'm a stereotypical girl. Indeed. Indeed. There is a strange tree in the road. Here we are, Runes of Elf. So we can also go in and catch an unknown. And that thing will then be able to be switched out for an egg. So we can head in this way. Oops, not that way. This way. Indeed. And there we are. And we just need to complete this puzzle. I think we do at least. Yeah. Uh, nope, this one goes here. There. And this one goes here. No, it doesn't. There. That's where it goes. That one goes there. And this one goes here. Boom. No? Did, it, did I do it wrong? Damn it, I did it wrong. <laughs> I don't know how I did it wrong, but we'll see, shall we? This, yeah, that one probably wasn't turned around the right way. Yeah, that's why. Is it right? No, maybe not. I don't know. No, this one here. Ah, it's the other way around. Those two need to switch. That makes sense now. Did look a bit weird. Ooh, shiny Kabuto. And. <whistles> yeah. Love that little sound. Don't know why. As the guy saying about the unknown book or whatever. Yep, just gonna ignore you. Don't care too much. The unknown report, same thing. There's a strange presence there. It's the unknown. Hopefully they're not too high a level. And hopefully I won't get killed by it. But we'll have to see. We still need to catch one, so. <laughs> Here we go. Level 15. Whoa, that's pretty high level. Too high level for ultimate to deal with, at least. I think. Let's go out to someone who can deal with it. I guess on the... It's really a lottery because we don't know what type of hidden power is. So it could either be... We could be immune to it for God. We all know. Okay, not, not immune. We're electric type, but... Hopefully it's normal or... Okay, it's just doing neutral damage, which is good. Uh, I guess we can use Bite. Hopefully that won't kill it. No, we can use it once more too. Awesome. Hidden power again, which is going to do another 7 or 8 damage. As a guess. 7 damage, 8 damage. Yep, 7 damage again. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Well, if I just said 7, I would have got it, but I said 8, but yeah. There we are. Okay, now... Oh, flinch as well. Now we should be able to catch it fairly easily. Just going to speed this bit up. Nope. Oh, dear. What was that? How much damage do we take there? Quite a lot more. Was that a critical hit? I'm guessing, so I'm just going to use a potion to restore my health. Be safe. Okay, did a bit more damage there. We can survive another one, though, so hopefully we get caught this turn. Yeah! We got it! We got it! Okay, so then we can not give a nickname because we don't really care about it. And then we can hopefully... There we are. Okay, so what ability does Jolteon have now that it's evolved? I'm guessing it has static. Volt Absorb. Okay, okay, that's of course, yeah. Fair enough, that's a pretty good move. Okay. I guess we can keep our own on our team for the moment until at least we head back to the Pokemon Center for the other Pokemon. <laughs> Just seeing what I was over there as a psychic. Nothing down here. Nothing generally anywhere else in the ruins of Elf to deal with, so I guess we can now head over to this route and catch a Pokemon here. Bro, what are you doing? Yep, I did that and I solved the puzzle, but you didn't, obviously. A scientist in the making. No, I'm a Pokemon trainer, Pokemon master. Okay, and now we can catch Pokemon in here. Who do you want to use? Um, don't use Aura because it's choice banded particularly, so just in case. You know. Okay, let's send Inferno out and see what Pokemon is lurking on this route. It is a Ninkada. It's level 10, so I guess we can use Metal Claw. I'm not sure. I mean, we're level 13, are we? 14. We can use Scratch. It's the safer move. Yeah. Okay, let's just spam Scratch. My, my accuracy is now falling as well, which isn't good, particularly. It's probably doing more, more damage, or regaining more health points than I'm taking away, because of my accuracy. And there we are. And we got Ninkada too, so we can no longer give a nickname, and it's transferred to Alive, which means, yeah, we just know it's Alive. Okay, and then we can return to the Pokemon Center, grab the Apricorn while we're here. There we are, awesome. A yellow Apricorn, or a Y, uh, y yeah, YLW Apricorn. And we can head into the Pokemon Center. And select two more eggs to hatch. Yay! And hopefully put one of them on our team this episode. I don't quite know if I will or not, but we'll have to see what we hatch, really. Okay, so let's just put that there for the moment. Go away. Okay, so we need to go to box number eight, is it? I think it's eight, number eight. 
We've done seven, yeah, so box number eight. Okay, what Pokemon do we want from here? Now, someone said in the comments they don't want me to like look at the names, so they just want me to choose a random egg, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to spat, or I'm going to use the mouse, I'm going to select one. I got it. Erish Child. Okay, so I can click move, and I can switch that for this one. What level is the end? Level 15, okay. So let's hatch this egg, level up to level 15, and see what it is. We need to get the item, of course, move items. Party Pokemon, no item on it, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, that's good. And we can hatch it now. It's called Erish Child. Interesting name, but uh, obviously it depends on what it is. There we are. Okay, let's see what it is. Boom, boom, boom. And hatch. It's a shiny Bagon, or at least a Bagon. We don't know if it's shiny or not. And we can call it, yep, Erish Child. I don't know why it's called Erish Child, particularly, but... Someone had a reason for naming it that, so we shall name it Erish Child. And it just about fits. There we are. Okay, so I guess we can put Bagon on our team, because obviously Bagon is a pretty, well, will be a pretty strong. We need to, yeah, need to level up. I forgot about that. Level 15 it needs to go to. We can check its summary first, though. It needs to do things in order, yeah? Obviously it's level 1, there's Headbutt, which is good. And Rage, Headbutt, and Firefang. Awesome, and it's got Rock Head, which is helpful for if we ever learn something like Double Edge. Ow, hit my knee. Hit my knee? Hit my heel. Different things. Come on, Matt. And there we are. And yep, yeah, time to spam the Z button, or the Z key. There we are, just level 15. Almost there. So yeah, I guess we can use it this episode. We don't actually have to level up because it's already level 15, so because the wild Pokemon are pretty beasty in this game. Um, so yeah, we can use it straight away in this episode, I guess, if we really want to. We shall check what the other po po Pokemon is first. What move did I learn as well? Bite. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to learn Leer because we have other stuff that's better. 12, 13, 14, and there we are, 15. Okay. So yeah, we can start using it as soon as we can, as soon as we want in this episode, but I'm going to check the other egg we hatched today before I actually start using it or put it on the layout and such, just because I don't particularly want to, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to put it on and have to like take it off because we've got something else better. Uh, check it in there for the moment now. So at least we've got dragon type we can use at some point. Uh, we need to then look here, or put this in the party at least I guess. So, so no to move Pokemon around in this game. Uh, we did box 8, so we need to go to box 9. Okay, so I need to choose another Pokemon random, so I've got my eyes closed. This is what I did last time as well, guys, or I looked away from the screen. And I've got my eyes closed, I'm just like, moving my mouse, and select an egg, go. Shamu. Okay, let's do it. Shamu, it needs to be level 10, so not as high as a level as the bag one will be, so we'll probably have to train up off screen if we were going to use it, but, oops, I need to move items, that's what I need to do. Move items. And it has, has it got an item? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, two eggs with no items today. I don't mind if there's no item, you know. Item makes it easier, generally, but, yeah. Uh, let's hatch it. It's called... What's it called? Shamu. Shamu. Interesting name. Let's see what it does. Or, let's see what it is, rather. Walking backwards and forwards. Back on actually ha hatched pretty quickly, uh, compared to the other eggs I've hatched so far. This one seems to be taking the same amount of time as the other ones, so... Just running around for a bit longer. Um, question of the day yesterday. I was really pleased with the response to the question of the day yesterday. Um, thank you to everyone who suggested people I could, you know, collaborate with. Obviously, I knew, I knew the majority of them, so I shall see what I can do in the future. Hopefully, I'll get something started soon. I don't know. It just really, you know, it just depends how it all goes, what everyone else is doing, and whether the people like me or not, because if they don't like me, they're not going to collaborate with me. There we are. Shamu. And today's question of the day is undecided as of yet. You guys probably don't answer that already, so... It's a Sveal called Shamu. Awesome. I guess, I don't know, we got a nice type already, so I guess Bagon is the, really the better choice here, so. But at least we've got another ice type if we ever need it. Shamu. Awesome. Okay. And then let's check it out, check out its stats. Obviously it's level 1, but yeah. Modest nature, which is good, I think. Water pulse, pound of snow, dance curl, yawn. All seem like valid moves for it to have. Ice body as well, so same as, okay, it's not the same as that anymore. Uh, when well, it was a snoring, it had ice body, but it didn't have any. Doesn't have any more apparently. It has levitate instead, which I guess is good. Okay, I need to go to level ten, I think, isn't it? Is it level ten? I can check in a minute. I think it's level ten. We'll get to level ten at least, uh, and then we can always check if we were wrong. Six, seven, encore, no. Eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Uh, I guess we can then check just quick check in the PC. It takes ages to boot this PC up, huh? 
My PC boots up faster than this. Uh, it is level 10 indeed. Okay, that's good. So I guess we can then go to the live box. And as predicted, we're going to switch out our bag on. Force field. So yeah, we got a nice team here so far. No, fire type, ice type, electric type, fight type, water type, and a dragon type. So yeah. I think that's where we're going to end today's episode, guys. I've only just noticed it's almost half an hour gone. I thought we were going to get some more stuff done today, but apparently not. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully you're excited for the next one. We get to see our shiny bag on in action, and hopefully get some more stuff done, etc. Let's put shiny bag on up front first. But yeah, hopefully you guys will tune in next episode. Awesome shiny bag on here. So yeah, I shall see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.